Good day to all of you. So in this video tutorial, you're going to learn a simple project of using Arduino. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an LED blink. So before we start setting the components in the Arduino board and in the breadboard, so let's identify per first what are the parts that we're going to need. So the first uh, component that we're going to need is of course since the our purpose is to uh, make an LED blink so let's have an LED so an LED as you, you can see they have two legs we have the longer leg which is called the anode and the shorter leg which is called the cathode so the longer leg is connected to the power source or in our example it will be connected uh, in the pin where we're going to assign it for this pin and this we have the cathode this will be connected in the ground okay so we have an LED and of course we also need this electronic component because LEDs have the tendency to draw power for itself so making them uh, prematurely burn out so to avoid this we should need okay so we need a resistor so just one resistor and then of course we will need to connect the components to the arduino board so we will need wires so these are specifically are the dupont wires so the number of wires will depend on your use uh, for example i assumed in my estimate it will only require three wires so um you can but of course uh for for complex projects you can add wires later depending on your needs and of course this will not be possible without the arduino board so this is the original Arduino board. So as you can see, it is um, teal in color and then there is already a breadboard. So it's already attached. So so the breadboard and the board are will not be separated. So, okay, let's start. So let's first set up our LED. So again, you have to remember... Uh, where will you going to uh, put the anode so that for referencing for for example putting the resistor and putting the wire okay so uh, as already discussed uh, the breadboard so these are their connecting points and at the middle it is not continuous to the other side so so anywhere we can put this um um, LED of course but not of course to the um, for the uh, railings of rails for uh, ground and the positive or the power source okay so let's put it in here for example let's just put it in the middle so let's just remember that you've put the um, the longer leg for example it's here so we have 14 and 17 there's an there's a number okay next is our resistor so since this is our anode so you can connect it anywhere in here because that will still be the signal for the um, anode and then you can connect it in here then you can also uh, do this okay so even though um, the middle of the breadboard is not continuously f uh, connected for these points but then by using for example a resistor it this uh, 14 the the points here will be connected and will belong to the anode okay next is we have okay let's set up the the wires so for uh, stand for following the standards so i've i've selected the color for black as the black wire for the ground so you can connect actually there are three grounds for 
the Arduino. So we have this one. And then, and then actually this is also the ground. So, you can put it anywhere. For example, I will put it, okay, just make sure that you're really going to connect it. Okay, so the ground. Okay, then, of course, connected to the, uh, the one with the minus symbol for the ground. And then, as you can remember, that this is your, ka ano, this is your cathode. So, again, if this is connected in here, so all the points here are for the anode. Okay, then, since... Um, you've already connected your ground, so this means these are all signals for the ground, okay? And then we have, lastly is, for example, um, let's set up our pin for the anode to pin 11. So again, just make sure that it is pin number 11 and then put it in here make sure that they're aligned because sometimes that's the problem the misalignment of the wires and connections and then when you put it in the um, um, if you put the code inside the micro uh, the the microcontroller it doesn't behave as it is um, is expected uh, what if, for example, you've already checked that your code is okay? So, uh, the problem will lie on your connection or your setup for electronic components. So, uh, this will be our um, setup for this project. And you have to remember that. It's important to remember that you put your anode to pin number 11. It's very important. So, we're already set up. So, our next is we're going to put the code. Of course, it will not work if there is no Arduino sketch. That will be the one who's going to control the blinking of the LED. We already set up our simple project, which is um, making an LED blink. So, again, we need the, the corresponding Arduino sketch for it to work. So, so for this, so let's now encode the needed Arduino sketch. So first, we have to use, okay, we need to define LED underscore 1. And then, as I told you, that we have to remember the pin number that what we've set up in our uh Arduino board. So, it is pin number 11. And then, okay, since we're going to use only one LED, so let's proceed. And then, next is we have pin mode. So, LED undersc uh, underscore 1 and then output. Okay, what is this uh, pin mode doing? So, pin mode is, of course, we have this LED. So, all the electronic components that we're going to use in Arduino, we must initialize it either as input or output. Since LED is an output, so, what are the parameters needed by pin mode function is we have the, the name of the uh, electronic component and where, the, and the, uh, of course, and the define it is assigned in pin number 11. And then we assigned it, of course, as output. Do not assign it as input because it's not an input. So you have to uh, correspond um, what of what type uh, is your electronic component. Is it an input or output? So again, the name of your component, we have LED underscore 1, which is connected in pin 11. And then, of course, it is an output. Okay, then next is we have, uh, we've already set up our LED. So next is 
this is the part where we're going to control the blinking of the of the LED. So we have digital, right? So LED one comma high. So what does this code mean? So digital right, you're going to modify the status of the electronic component. So the name of the electronic component and then what status that you're going to assign. So digital right only has two values. We have high and the other is low. Okay. And then we have delay of 500. Okay. What is this delay? So this delay function, so its parameter is in milliseconds. So it means this 500 is half a second. So it means it's fast. Okay, you have to remember that delay again as I'm um, uh, reiterating that delay is in milliseconds. So if you want to reflect it in seconds, of course, for example, uh, what will be 5 seconds? You have to add another zero. So 5 seconds is equivalent to 5,000 milliseconds. So for our example, we have 500 milliseconds or half a second. So this one is... For half a second, your LED will be on. So, as I've said, for our simple project, we'll make it blink, meaning it will on and off, on and off repeatedly. So, we need two other lines of code. So, we have digital, right, and then LED underscore one, comma, and then low. Okay, and then we also have the delay of... 500 milliseconds. Okay, so since you've put this in the loop as uh, written here in the uh, comment, one line, single line comment is put your main code here to run repeatedly. So since you've already declared that um, in half a second, your LED will turn on and then after executing it, um, it will also, the LED will be turned off for half a second and it will be repeated as long as the Arduino has power. So its effect is it will blink. Okay, so we're already done with our code. So let's verify. So let's uh, again, let's save because when you verify, you'll be prompted to save. So let's have a... Uh, a descriptive um, file name for example blinking led and then click save okay let's wait for the compiler to finish okay so done compiling so as you can see there are no errors detected in your code. So since it's already okay, so next is we're going to upload the code to the board, to the Arduino board. Okay, now we're ready to upload our Arduino sketch to the Arduino Uno board. So we've already set up and I've already... Um, connected the Arduino board to the computer using the USB uh, USB cable to the USB port so again so let's start so we've already checked that there is no error in the Arduino sketch and then we've already manually checked that all the components are properly configured and in, uh, it is connected to the proper pins so let's see if it, it, it works so let's upload so okay so you can see okay the board has already blinked and then as you can see the led is blinking so for half a second on and half a second off and it will be repeated indefinitely as long as the arduino board has power actually with this code you can play with the delay example uh, you want the state on to be longer, such as for 
5 seconds, we have 5,000 milliseconds. And for the off is, for example, 1 second. So, 1,000 milliseconds. And then, let's upload it again and see what will be the reaction or what will happen. Okay. So, our LED is 5 seconds on and then 1 second off. So, that will be its behavior just by... Um, modifying the values of the delay function so for example you want to make it faster okay we have uh, last is we have half a second make it 250 milliseconds okay let's upload it again okay 250 milliseconds on and off so uh, the LED is blinking faster than before I'll make it faster Make it 100. Let's see. Okay. And let's upload it again. Okay. So, it's like already an alarm. That it, it, it needs attention. So, again, you can modify the delay based on the needs. For example, if you're going to create a project. So, this, uh, this is very effective for status indicator. So, again, let's make it uh, 500 again for the original um, code. Okay, we're back with half a second on and off indefinitely. So, I hope that um, you've learned something from this tutorial. So, but before we end, there's a question. Um, which is better? Is it really okay to set up first the electronic components or uh, code first the the Arduino sketch actually it depends upon uh, upon yourself um, the only important thing is you have to remember uh, such a uh, why I've discussed uh, earlier that uh, you have to remember where did you put for example the LED which pin did you assign it for so that's in so that's why for coding they must be the same because if they're different your LED will not work at all for example if you assign pin number pin number 12 for example I, I assigned it here pin number 12 so let's let's just see what will happen okay it's already uploaded and then I changed it into pin 12 for the LED one so you can see it's not working because um, in your electronic component setup it is assigned to pin number 11 so it must match the code so actually there is nothing wrong if you code it first the only thing that you have to remember is um, the pins that you have assigned for each component is matched on your code so again let's return it to pin number 11 okay Okay, it's back again. So, it's easier actually to modify the Arduino sketch than to rearrange your electronic component setup. So, uh, again, you have to remember where you assigned uh, the, the electronic compo uh, components uh, to, the, uh, to the pin. So, okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And then, thank you very much for listening. So, please like my page and of course subscribe and if you like and i hope that you learned something so again thank you very much and good day